As you prepare to enter, just think about how you're going to build from that second chorus to the third chorus. I might throw in just a D formation, strummed first one time and then multiple strums. on it probably be nice. So let's break that down a little bit. There's basically uh, just three parts to the song. The first part is something that you should learn and know as an electric guitarist, and that's the use of sixth. Uh, and the way that you accomplish uh, sliding sixth is either going to be one of two types of fingering, and it's just figuring out which one it is in that key. Um, but your fingering is basically either going to be Straddling a string, uh, you're going on your E string and your G string. My middle finger is on the second fret of the G string, and my ring finger is on the second fret of the E string. So this is your first formation in sixths. Notice that's a, a sixth in interval, and uh, it's just a common thing that one, do, one does an acoustic guitar and electric guitar. So all that's going on here is a simple movement up and down uh, three different sets of sixth. One is... Now when I get to this one, I've got to change uh, the frets. I can't stay. I need to go. So it's pretty smooth if you keep your middle finger constantly anchored, because then you can switch between your, your sixth that's, that's a fret away and your sixth that's on the same fret. Right, uh, and when you're sliding with your top top finger, I'm sorry, your middle finger, it creates that continuity. So, so basically, you're running six for this song is a simple movement up and down, multiple times on the fretboard. What can I say? What can I do? So 
so that's that movement down that. It's pretty simple once you get it. The other thing uh, is once you get to the point after you've sung that pre-chorus a few times and you're building into the bridge, he goes up, um, or she, I don't know who's playing the electric guitar, uh, goes up to frets, frets 9 and 10, and you basically got your index on fret 9 on the E string and your middle finger on fret 10 on the B string, and this is the movement. And you just cycle through that all throughout the building of the bridge. Now it's basically, and then I'm putting my pinky up on fret 12, and then there's a bit of a stretch here with my index finger all the way down to fret 7, while still keeping my uh, middle finger on fret 10. It's just creating a, a an interval of a second, which is, it's a stretch, but you just kind of have to Instead of keeping your hands straight up and down, you kind of have to turn your hand so that you can engage that stretch. And slide it back up, and then a sus. Right underneath your middle finger comes your ring finger. And the net effect is. And then for the final part, it's just another, you know, staying on that D formation and slowly building it you know, once you're into the chorus. So I'll stand with arms high and heart open. You know, stuff like that. And then just building and making sure you got a lot of distortion on that as well.